Right, hello everybody. Um, welcome to round one of Blitz Pit. Uh, this is just the qualifiers. Blitz Pit qualifiers. Group B up against No Number, um, who has Amazon Prime. <laughs> um, and he has gone Amazons without any guard whatsoever. And an accurate thrower. So um, some would say it's a terrible zone build. I wouldn't be that harsh. But um, it's not what I'd do. Um, and obviously dwarves match up very well against Amazons. Um, so this should be... Should be almost an easy win, right? But, you know, things can happen. He's got a pommer, so he could just... You know, if, if anyone can get diced by, <laughs> by Zons with a pommer, it's me. So, anything can happen. I think I'm going to go with the extra runner just as a bit of insurance. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Just because I feel this is a pretty, uh, you know, almost easy game, right? Almost an easy game. It's not easy. It's not an easy guaranteed win. <laughs> but it's almost an easy guaranteed win. It's as close as you're going to get in uh, in Blitz Pit to an easy game, isn't it? Like, that's the thing. It's not easy. If I crash the game doing that at the same time, is confirmed. <laughs> oh, expertly programmed game. Uh, yes, it is worth ping Discord, but I haven't done it. So, it's going to have to wait until the end of my turn, because it's one minute turns. AV break. Oh baby, Mighty Blow gets a Kaz. Woohoo! Because of Mighty Blow as well, instant payoff. Love to see it. Three D here. That was disappointing. Discord. Done. Full banger. Yep. Oh, well, what a run. oh glorious. Thanks. So. 30 minutes. Yeah, tell us in chat because I'm, I haven't got obviously the whole thing sorted yet. Turbo banger, man. It's hard, isn't it? it is, this is hard, to be fair. Playing one minute turns and interacting with chat and everything, so I'm probably not going to be able to do that very well, if at all. Hello, Fatty. Oh, not blitzing with Pom. Love to see it. 
fucking wrestles us down, don't love to see. Five, two more men in the front. Oh, I can't. Because I want to hit. I want to hit over there as well. Can still hit over there, can't we? And Bondi. I really need the push at least. Skull here is pretty shit. Both down's good though. And a seven piece of shit. Well, that was, that was a shame, wasn't it? Five dice on, on that guy and couldn't knock him over. Hello, Calcium. Oh, Jim Shard. Well, at least you're in the next one. Good luck. Good luck with everything, Calcium. <laughs> yeah, me real noob, yeah, it was... It was a bit harsh. It was a bit harsh for uh, for our Amazon opponent here. Of course. Oh, so he is getting the pom in this time. Scary pom. Not diced yet. Woo! Oh my god, stuck over there. Of course, failed the one around. Woo! Fantastic stuff. Flip me, guys. Love to see it. <laughs> wow, flicking. Emergency, he was about to get flak hammered into oblivion. <laughs> oh, no one concerned, Bill. 
<laughs> well, that was a shame, wasn't it? That film, that dodge. I mean, it wasn't a hundred percent necessary. Cause like he's not got a hit on the ball yet, has he? I guess he's got a one D if he wants it. No, he doesn't, cause there's guard there. So it, it wasn't like. It wasn't super necessary to protect the ball, but obviously getting him in there would have got more guard around the ball. Which would have been nice. Like more guard, just more players around the ball, like don't have to be separated like this, do we? Oh, he does have the hit, doesn't he? One, two, oh, if he dodges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he can get a 1D on the ball. With wrestle. Woo. No rerolls, though. No, you push. Oh, wow. Did he know that was an uphill? Le tacle, ha ha ha, oui oui oui. Plim plom fuck. Why might you blow him and just push him with him? I don't want him to get uh, wrestled. Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> Woohoo! I've got this guy to stand up, haven't I? I guess he's not going to go in. Oh, I guess I'm just going to go here. I don't really want to, though. I want to get him to there. Let's go there. That's where I want to be. Oh, baby. Got the push. Got the plim plum push. Woohoo! Oh, that was that was a lot of stuns. <laughs> Four stuns in a surf. Woo! Well, actually, one was a KO, wasn't it? But I pulled, I pulled it. Um, hello, Steve Noddy. How many qualifiers? There, there are four groups of qualifiers, I think, Unconcerned Elf. And each one, you've got to win four games to qualify. So there you go. If he's seven doing work, yeah. Not going badly so far. And all these, this sea of stuns might help us reconnect as well, which would be nice. Yes, four in a row. Le tackle. Ha ha ha. Oui, oui, oui. The mighty blow can eat him. Just let everyone except the shithead slayer get reconnected beautifully. Tubbs did beautifully. Right, you're 
not going to get, going to keep tackle on there too. That seems worth it, actually. Guess I should have swapped those around or something. <laughs> oh yeah, Kazka's a mighty blow. Love to see it. Um, he might as well. Nah, he just stands up, doesn't he? Does he stand up? He got dodges. I nah, don't want to make it free for them. And they haven't got block. Stand up. I mean, yes, it is obviously, it is obviously Amazon's worst problem matchup, you know, like, it's, he was so unlucky getting balls in the first round. Uh, but, you know, if anyone had the power to get dice to death by them, it was me, so, it's still not over. Like, he's got a bench of two, he's up or, no, one got surfed, so he's going to be, still be at uh, 11 players for the second half. So he could still come back and, and draw something. Go overtime. Like, it's still possible. It's not over yet. But obviously, this is horrific for him. <laughs> Brilliant and concerned. Going for the foul, trying to get back in. Fair enough. Look me, guys. It is KL City, yeah, it is. It is pretty. It's pretty one-sided in terms of team matchup. But um, the dice have not hated us this much, have they? It's, uh, it's been pretty glorious thus far. You did well to disentangle people here, didn't you? That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good turn from him. And he gets the foul as well. <laughs> <laughs> fatting, fatting, fatting. The little elfy man. Mr. Nimble. The defenseless dudes. Chasm. <laughs> Not because of mighty blow. Boo. Actually, I could foul now, right? Because I've got the uh, I've got the reserve.
Shiki Runafau. <laughs> yes. Is it a double four? No, it isn't. Woo. <laughs> yes, he's gone zero guard. What's Blitz Pit? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good run up. It was full run up, all six squares. He was stood here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get the foul in. Love to see it. Don't sky his KO! <laughs> what would Space Cadet do? That is the question. Blitz Pit is awesome. What is that? I'll, I'll show you the... Uh, oh, there's a, if you do exclamation point Blitz, I believe it is, then you can find out. There you go, there's the... Uh, there's the Discord. That has informations. Guard in here. Punch this man. Get wrestled. Guard in there. Blitz this man. Get Lupau. Get a push on the first block. <laughs> yeah. Power on the second. Yeah. And then an extra hit. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a, this is a brilliant amount of adversity. This is my fucking favourite amount of adversity. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> Absolutely fucking zero adversity is my favourite amount of adversity. Brilliant. This is enjoyable. Dio's a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is the perfect amount of adversity. I could wish for this amount of adversity every single match. Brilliant. Oh, look at me with my preset fucking setups. Woo! Flip me, guys! Woo! Reverse adversity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he's down to 10 men. Women, whatever. Four, five... Yeah, I guess he's not going to one turn, so I should have just set up in the in the chevrons in case of a riot. Oop for gore. Oop for gore. Oh, I don't think I got a good stadium, did I? I didn't pay for a good stadium. That's a shame. Okay, good. No, I guess I should have set up for the riot. He's gone zero guard. Which, yeah. And two wrestlers and an accurate. I mean, that accurate could have just been guard on a blitzer. And these two, like the wrestlers, is fine. But I would have still rather had guard on blitzers. And then you could have had three guard blitzers. And still have the Palmer if he really wanted a Palmer. Which, I wouldn't have wanted the Palmer. Like, I would have gone Mighty Blow Tackle. But, if you want it, then fair enough. It's not quite zero resistance, no. There's, there's, a, bit of, there's a bit of adversity. 
Especially if he casts this guard here. Maybe I should have not put the guard there with him not really having a good shot at the one time. Yep, zero guard. No, maybe this is a tier 4, I don't know. This is good enough for me. Bosh. Just the right amount of adversity. Woo! Flip me, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's slightly more. It's not the opposing coach. It's, it's the matchup, right? What can you do? And like, especially with all those stuns, like the, the dice were really hot. To be fair, had nice dice as well as it being a horrific matchup for him. So, oh, really nice dice. Peace, peace. <laughs> this won't fail. I'm on the nine. Burr, burr, burr. Get off my pitch, dickhead. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> it's exactly what we didn't want to happen. This won't fail. I'm on the rake. Oh. I don't think it you. Oh wow! Look at that instant cars. Uh, there's no need to have what is there because got the reserve. And save the apple for a KO. I mean the game isn't over yet. It could go over time. Frees up another player, so he can get a rudimentary screen across his uh, <laughs> across the the front of the field. Oh no, he's just going in front of the hit. I do not agree with that. I think this guy, this guy should have come here. And then he could have picked it up and come back, and he's got a bit of a screen, hasn't he? Getting this one isn't doing him a lot of good. And then that was the plan. So if you, if he put him there, and then he'd do that dodge at the end, because even though it's against tackle, at least it's getting away from my equal, isn't it? Get the mighty blow blitz in. Woo! Flip me, guys. Not right. 
I ain't going up there just to uh, dick about with him. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I yeah, will Woody defend. Be, Woody, Woody line off. B L I T Z P I T, the greatest B L O O D B O W L tournament there is. Woo. Keeping the game alive, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, right, give me a second. You're in the fucking booth. Oh, wow, right. Well, in that case, help. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Right. Um... I should get out of here now and put help on. Hello, help. Hello. Hello, glorious. Hello. Um, yes, if you could take over, please, that would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And then I can uh, I could concentrate on trying to play Blood Bowl. Yeah. Guess I'll launch the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want me to easier. stream it so that you can? You're gonna stream it, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, don't lose your turn, it's taking time here, which is nice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I was right about that. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, stepping into the booth it is me, El Peme. El Peme -me. Bit of commentary while Jim focuses on the second half of his first blitz pitch. Qualify, blitz pitch, blitz pit. It's all the same, isn't it, between friends? Playing dwarves, of course, so it's going to be difficult to find things to say. But we find ourselves here. One nil. Jim's favourite. So, Soga, the Blitz Pit is a... It's a one-minute tournament. Um, one minute turns, and it all takes place on the same day, as far as I'm aware. Sort of an Iron Man length, but the games are a lot shorter. Um, the qualifier is what we're seeing at the moment. Um, there's two sets of qualifiers. Each have a large number of coaches. And what they're doing is trying to get into the final tournament, which has, again, a number of coaches, all battling for a cash prize. A substantial cash prize, all things considered. Um, I believe it's up there in the hundreds of pounds. If you live in a less uh, sort of economically developed area, you may find it's thousands of your local currency. So a lot to play for here, for, for some. Such as uh, Jim, although he did get his massive donation from Peppet Biscuits, that will inevitably dry up. So, playing Blitz Pit to eat. Yeah, the stress is just rapid fire. KRZ. Kulza. Yeah, it, it follows like similar rules to a NAF tournament. If you've ever played tabletop where you get 1100 TV and you can pick a certain number of doubles and... So I don't know the exact rules off the top of my head, but it's something like that. I think they're allowed to go to 12, 1250 or just under 3, 1300 TV. Um, they're allowed X number of skills, maybe a double, no stat ups. And if your team is classed as shit, so you've got the tier system, if you're familiar with that from tabletop, um, the teams are classed very generally as tier one, two, or three. And if you play a, if you choose to play a tier three team, it's considered that you're handicapping yourself and you're allowed an extra, say, skill here, maybe a skill there. Something like that. Going for the GFI on the pass there. Obviously, the catch was the GFI. You can see the, the dice underneath the catcher. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Satterfield, for staying fantastic for 42 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Lizards, like Lizards do well in all sorts though. of tournaments. KOZ, they're a fucked up team, to be honest, all things considered. Poorly balanced. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, the six strength four and stuff, yeah, they do very well in these types of things. That was a really unfortunate catch there for Jim, the, the dedicated catch on the Amazons there, failing to catch the ball and instead dropping it and it landing one square further forward. But it does mean Jim might be able to get a 2D on the ball with a with a GFI. Jim helped me out there by showing me the movement range of the dwarves. That was nice. Yeah, I ostracized. Ostracized. Oh, what's the one where they not euthanized? You know, that's a bit strong, maybe. What's the one where you get your dog done? You get your dog snipped. Castrated. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, <laughs> ostracized, steak and kidney pies, yeah, fixed, neutered, neutered, that's the one, yeah, neutered, yeah. I like neutered because it's gender neutral, isn't it, actually, so it works for everybody that plays lizards. Although, to be fair, if lizards are a, a uh, good entry team for people, I think, just uh, not one that you'd recommend they play permanently. You know what I mean? Feel pretty powerful. Good intro. Good soft intro to Blood Bowl. Here we go. GFI failed. Down a reroll. Still commit to the Blitz, I'm sure here. The Blitz in the Blitz pit. And this is Danny's Blitz and I'm not paying attention. Oh, no. No, no, no. Just going to go for the single GFI. Yeah, double GFI. I think this is the play here. You know, I'm not coaching. You know, I think, I think, you know go for this and hope it doesn't fail it's just it doesn't fail he gets the knockdown yes and this is this is why i mean you saw jim sort of commit to an action and then from outside influence he did he did adjust his plan however don't think blitz pit has any rules about that unlike rebel where jim would be banned and his children would be banned Yeah, I, I know, KLZ, and you complain at every opportunity, despite playing one of the, if not the best races in Blood Bowl. So, it's interesting. Here we go, so the Blitz is gone, the ball no longer base. But it's not easy for the Amazons here. Got to do some dodges out of tackle. Every dodge they do is out of tackle, actually. Apart from that one dodge there, he makes the dodge. There's the pickup. No rerolls. Oh, that's a tasty little, tasty little scare for Jim there. Jim obviously stuck here with the decision of do I uh, scatter the ball? It's risky as fuck. Could bounce forward into the Amazons, but everything's based. Doesn't opt to scatter. Yeah, freeing up the ball handler. I like this. Top three teams, yeah. Yeah. See, so Rudy's, you know, it's, it's hard to be angry at a Rudy coach, right? Because, let's be honest, uh, Rudy's have a massive fucking downside to them, and that's AV7. I mean, they do some bullshit. They're like rats, they only need a few players on the pitch to get shit done, but. They don't attract anywhere near as much hate as dwarf coaches do. And similarly, nowhere near as much hate as uh, lizard coaches. Lizard coaches get less hate than dwarf. Better match here. Oh, in breaking news, I've broached 2,000, 200,000 gym shards. Excellent. And Jim's collected the ball with no fuss. Four turns here for the Amazons. Three, six, nine. Nine players on the pitch. Can do some stuff, but needs some dice. Need a lot of dice. Here comes the first of the uphill 2Ds. Push. Not a problem for Jim here. Not a problem at all. May well have not been the square he wanted to go. But I think it's sort of fucked either way. I do not have a wife. She needs to play her cards a little bit better to 
enter that realm of uh, relation. But I do have a girlfriend. And that Amazon just failed to dodge. Jim loving this, rubbing his hands together. Hopefully now going to get stuck in, get some SPP. But of course, if you're new to Blitz Pit, you might be thinking, oh yeah, Amazons. Lots of SPP to farm here. Don't be mistaken, it's a resurrection tournament. There is no SPP to be gained. No, I think dwarves deserve the hate they get. I mean, reptiles, reptiles aren't, you know, as a Skaven coach, I hate lizards the most. I mean, dwarves are well up there, but, you know, when I'm playing rats, fucking I hate lizards. And, uh, yeah, you know. It's one of those things, isn't it? Well, yeah, but armor seven everywhere. Just gave them to do some shit, but they're not overpowered. The one thing that pisses people off mostly is the, uh, the natural one turners, right? But even that's not not a foolproof win to way to win a game. Yeah, dwarves with the tackle, but you can sort of just sort of get away from it. The skinks combined with the mobile strength four. Well, yeah, but you could you could play around the tackle. Most of your players are skaven. There's only a few that have tackle. I mean, it's they uh, dodge. They really need to dodge, so it sucks when you can't use it. Jim's opponent here. This is exactly. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. No number there with a potential brass eye reference. Good on him for that, if that's the case. But con conceding defeat already and hard to blame him. If we were to measure how much fun Jim's opponent has had during this match, it would probably be in the negative fun. I don't think he's having fun. It's being polite in chat, obviously, but facing dwarves of Amazons, it's not much fun to be had. Yeah, it's the move. Yeah, the movement's six strength four. That's fucked. I don't know. It's not. It's not a GG in the in the usual sense of the word, is it? Oh, you know, it's not the GG itself, but it is a. It is a GG. I don't think introducing other teams to balance lizards is the fix. I think fixing lizards is the fix. But I don't know what's happening. I don't even think Lizards are in at the start of Blood Bowl 3, are they? Jim might be going for the touchdown here. I don't know if Blitz Pit's got any sort of bonus bonus prizes for most touchdowns. Or any of that sort of shit. They might have if they do. Getting it on Dwarves would be nice. It'd be nice to have like a little sweepstakes, wouldn't it? You know, a touchdown on a Dwarf is worth 1.5. Touchdown on elves is worth 0.8, and then you have a culmination at the end of all the touchdowns, adjusted for ease of scoring them. A nice little side prize there, maybe something for the future. Well, yeah, the worst thing there, you know, at Amazons against dwarves and into conceding is that Jim's opponent has been under psychological torture for the several days that this matchup has been available. I think it's been a week now. People have had to sort of prepare and get ready. Did you lose? Did you, Adon? Yeah, it would be Pedro, wouldn't it? It'd be great. Yeah, the unlucky send off there. Not a gym foul though. So his opponents dropped the GG, but still playing. So. All to play for. Still like a fusion of um, Jim's opponent's team name there. Sort of fusion of um, Transformers and Amazon Prime. It's good. Topical as well, because you're on Twitch. Where if you get Amazon Prime, you can use it to subscribe for free. We say it's free, you know, I mean, if you, you have Amazon Prime, but you never use the delivery things when you're essentially paying 
for the Twitch benefits, maybe. But you can, if you have Amazon Prime, it'll be on your screen there. It'll be saying Prime. Subscribe now. Use Prime. Doesn't cost you anything. Oh, glorious. What an absolute dicing this has been. I don't need to concentrate anymore. <laughs> oh, baby. I haven't need to concentrate for the last few turns, but hey. At least I've been trying to, like, you know, play safe and, you know, do safe moves first and stuff. Yeah, you fucking diced him, mate. Don't worry about it. Oh, absolutely first diced. half wasn't a massive dice, was it? I, I didn't watch the first half, I was having a shower. It was, it was pretty much a dicing all game. Yeah. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> well he's was, he was been polite to you, hasn't he? Yep, he's maybe been hoping, a lovely fella. Yeah, maybe hoping to get invited back to a future Blitz bit. End the turn, for fuck's mm -hmm. sake! End GG. the fucking turn, man! I don't, I don't, I mean, it wasn't a GG. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, it was barely a G. <laughs> yeah, half a G there. But Maybe then, just the O, not the, you don't get the bottom part of the G, just the O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was... Coincidentally, that was O is your opponent's number of touchdowns as well, so... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that was... I, I almost feel bad, but he brought it on himself Honestly, by taking zones. You know what can happen if you go with zones. <laughs> yeah, he's been into some fucking twat that takes dwarfs. And on that note, you know, I was thinking to myself, maybe this probably wasn't a good one for the PR to stream. Just let it happen, win it, and then stream for the next bracket. <laughs> no, because he could have died. Oh, yeah. had, he had, he had he did. oh god! Yeah, so there was there was a chance <laughs> that he could have he could have oh. better dice. But as it, he, he was thirty five percent armor. I mean, that is incredibly unlucky, like ridiculously unlucky. Yeah. Forty seven percent on dodges. So like you know, armor was what dwarf armor was eighty two. So like I was really lucky, and he was really unlucky. So like. You know, and then plus obviously it was almost a minimal matchup. From the well, start, Pedro not, there, Pedro with the hot take. Bad racial matchup, horrible team build, <laughs> terrible dice, wasn't the closest game, but did he play well? He didn't seem to do any misplays from my saw. No, no, he, he didn't He didn't get to do like any plays at all. He did, he just, he was just, he was just, he was just battered. Yeah. So can play a skill overcome? those three things the bad racial matchup <laughs> the horrible team build and terrible dice i don't think it can no and no it it can't and it, it can't overcome terrible dice can it <laughs> it can sometimes if, if there's a gulf in skill you can yeah or, or like if you've got the other things right because you could have the well, not racial matchup because you've got team matchup the racial mm. matchup goes into the whole team matchup right so you've got you've got massive disparity in teams you've got massive disparity in dice and and they're the two things really yeah, so yeah. like and then you've got a massive disparity in coaching skill is possible to have. So if you get a massive disparity in dice, and uh, but you have got a better team, maybe you can win with even coaching. If you've got if you've got a horrible team and horrible dice, maybe if you're way way better than your opponent, you can still scrape a draw or whatever. But mm -hmm. I don't think he could have done. I mean, I don't think it would be possible for anyone to be better than me enough. <laughs> To make up for those dice and that to those teams, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's that's fair. That's Maybe fair. if there was a Blood Bowl supercomputer, uh, it could do it. But uh, I don't think any human could really beat those teams and those dice. That was just insanely, insanely one-sided. And on that bombshell, um, thank you very much. No, it's not. It's not Mangles. I'm just saying that the dice were so one-sided and the teams were so one-sided. It was just impossible for anybody to be that much better, I think. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much, Elp, for jumping on. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.